Hey, what's going on everybody? What up, what up, what up? Welcome to Young Brawling Gaming Channel. Today, guys, we're going to be doing some live ladder gameplay. On my main account, we're down about two games, so like 50-something trophies um, from the season highs. So we're going to try to push back up to that and see how that goes. Currently on my lunch break, so I'll be going in and out with the, uh, the commentary, right? I'll be talking, I won't be talking. But yeah, here we go, guys. If you guys could do me a favor, please hit that subscribe button down below. Help out the channel grow, and I really appreciate that, guys. Um, not a bad starting cycle. Perfect. Okay, we'll go with this. I'm gonna absolutely try to support this here. No, 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 no. What we wanna do is try to bring in the Sparky this way. Uh, you see that way. We got we got a few hits on the Sparky with the Night Witch. That's gonna be very clutch. Because if I had not done that, the Sparky would have hit the, uh, what do you call it? The Sparky would have hit, oh, that's a hit. Oh, no, that's unfortunate. That's well played here from the opponent. The bats there were everything. Distracted the Mega Minion. That minion horde is going to be very annoying to deal with. Once we take care of that, we just want to make sure that we can uh, deal damage to this giant quick and then take care of the... game maybe not maybe not let's go bats oh that's game come on oh come on I really have to lightning that I don't want to but um, it is what it is I'm just gonna wait though a little bit before we do that I'll do it now because we have to cycle anyways That works out. <whistles> All right, we're back in the game. Let's go. That's not too bad. It's not too bad, guys. We'll go with the baby dragon. We'll go with the lumberjack here somewhere. And then we're going to hit him with the lightning. Well, that's a good lightning. Let's go. Mini Pekka. I think we can win this one. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Okay, the zap comes out. We'll go with the we'll go with the goal in this time. I think we got the elixir lead too. We're gonna get hit with the giant play here, right? For sure. So uh we'll load up a lumber. Baby dragon night witch here. Check this out, check this out. Da -da 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 -da. That's game. That is so game. We're in triple elixir. It's gonna be very hard to stop all this rage stuff for sure. Come on, Night Witch. Yup. We're in the lightning. That's game. Come back when. 
<laughs> Come back when. Okay. 63-65. One more to get a season highs. So Tombstone, I don't know what this is. I haven't seen Tombstone. Maybe Lava Hound. Could be Lava Hound still. Go with the Night Witch. <clears throat> Balloon. Mega Minion. Yeah, I'm gonna pull this back. Hopefully that doesn't get a hit on the tower. Maybe the death damage will happen though. Alright, we should be up elixir here. So we can do that. Oh, this is gonna be so good for us here guys check this out. I mean We're probably gonna lose that tower, right? But We will pick up that left tower, especially when I send in this lumber We take care of these barbarians. Hopefully. Yep, that's tower. So uh, Not too bad. We're back in the game uh, We can't really do any golems just yet because we want the double elixir to happen. Um, also, if I do golem, we're gonna get hit with the balloon. So we gotta keep in mind that we're going against a balloon deck. This is good. The Inferno Dragon's out of cycle. The Barbarians were the last card used as well. And we can just load this up right here. Uh, ho, 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 that's gonna cost me. This might turn out to be a decent play. It might, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm not too uh, convinced with what I'm seeing here. Uh, we'll get a few hits. Yeah. 16 seconds to go, guys. Oh, no. I was hoping that we can distract the Inferno Dragon here, but... That's a good game. This is actually a pretty good deck against Golem. If you check this out, there's a building, Inferno Dragon, and the Barbarian. So you don't really get a break to get through. You know what I mean? But that's okay. to uh, bring this away from the golem definitely uh, we're gonna be able to break through here and pick up the tower I'm gonna send in the mega minion here as well and baby dragon because we want to be able to make sure that the mega minion stays alive so we can actually deal damage to that tower and Either way, guys, that fireball is going to help us out. <laughs> I 
that fireball is gonna absolutely help us out you know why because now we can do a night witch without even having to worry about any big spell unless you know the opponent decides to have a poison in there but that's very unlikely that there's a poison in this deck so we do that right and uh you want to wait for the golem to just cross that tower so that way the bats don't go in front right that's the key and i'm gonna send in a lumberjack in front so that way inferno dragon locks onto that guys you see what i did there um and then we can just pull this away from the golem that's gonna help okay I did the bar barrel to distract Inferno Dragon. I think we did a pretty good job of that. Uh, we can baby dragon right here. I'm gonna use a tornado to pull this back because if yeah that's good that's fine I th the opponent still has to go with the fireball on the other side or a zap or something Okay, and now we can go with this. We'll just lightning, making sure that it resets, and bring it into the golem. Uh, that should be a good game here, guys. Just got a lightning. Um, yep, good game. <clears throat> all right so we'll go with this tesla is most likely the bow right what else is it gonna be um we go with this and then I'm just gonna lightning to create a path. Tornado to make sure that we get the Night Witch on that tower. And this is gonna be a GG, guys. Good game. Because once you take that left tower, there's no way the opponent's gonna break through and go for our tower. You see, gave up the game. Well played. Being too aggressive in the beginning with the Tesla and then going with the Expo there. And, uh, yeah. Guys, if you're having trouble with the Expo decks, you can't beat them. Make sure you give this deck a try. You'll be easily able to break through them. But look at this, though. You win one game, right? Is this a coincidence or is this matchmaking being rigged, right? Lava Hound Balloon? I lose one, and then the next game, I get Lava on Balloon with the Inferno Dragon. I don't know about you guys, but to me, that looks iffy, guys. Come on. 63.90. That is the new season highest. Um, can we go for one more? Maybe. Just 
probably 2.6 or Expo. Yeah, 2.6. Had to be one or the other. Okay. Go with this. <clears throat> oh, that's such a bad, bad, bad uh, barbarian barrel on my end. That was such a terrible barbarian barrel. The bats are gonna get so much damage because of the rage being there. So, uh, we're kind of even, but that was such a bad bar barrel, guys. We would have not taken that much damage if it wasn't for a terrible bar barrel on my end. Okay, so we're probably gonna have to tower trade here. If I see a hog rider, we're gonna have to let it go. I was expecting that, but this in return gives us a four elixir advantage. Let's see if we can make good use of it. Um, we're gonna definitely lightning the cannon even though we'll just hit the ice golem but i think the cannon is the key definitely want to hit the cannon and the ice golem actually clears out the way for the night for the night witch right to get straight onto the tower golem goes to the tower we're gonna break through take out that tower and completely take care of that musketeer so we're not in a bad spot now go with the mega minion I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, 10 seconds to go in this game. Go with that. Just gonna lightning that so that way the golem goes straight to the king tornado to make sure those bats don't end up well the skeletons don't end up taking down that uh, golem too much right and we're at that tower we'll go with the baby dragon uh, i have a lumber ready here somewhere have to bar barrel lumber did not drop come on man that's good game though, I think we got it in the bag. Good game, well played, and just like that. Just like that, we got 6,400. That player seemed a little bit salty, throwing the two good lucks at me. Um, but yeah, this is for somebody that asked me in the comments, they wanted to see 2.6 versus Golem. So this is for you, hope you, hope you enjoyed this gameplay. Um, we lost one game out of the five uh, against this Sparky Giant. That was a good game. The Lava Hound, you guys saw that was a very tough matchup. No way I was going to break through Barbarians, Inferno Dragon, and the building with the Lightning and the Arrows. It was just a perfect deck for our Golem deck. Then we beat this Lava Hound somehow. Expo, it's easy for a Golem. And 2.6, it's also not that difficult if you can act through a King Tower and then uh, pick up from there.
But all right, guys, I'm going to end this one here. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Rolling out. Peace. Take care, guys. Alright, I'm here in this here. We'll continue the chat later on after. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> break's almost over. Got a couple minutes left. Perfect timing.